Today on MTG Unpacked, we're cracking open a box of Ravnica Allegiance and we're going to be doing a bit of snacking today for one of the patrons of the channel. So let's get stuck into this. And the lucky patron today is Boza from Down Under. So we're going to be grabbing four packs out of here and let's see how we do. Hope Jace's blessings get him the goods. So we'll just grab four random packs here like so pop that over here and lay out the packs for the blessings so that is how we get the crazy pulls on this channel sometimes all right so let's get stuck into it here good luck Bozza thanks for being a patron much appreciated all right, we start off here with a Savage Smash, Twilight Panther, Persistent Petitioners. All right, so I will be putting in the rares, mythics, foils, or anything over a buck that includes this. So add to your Persistent Petitioner collection. You can have any number of cards named Persistent Petitioners. Let's put that over here so we don't forget about it. Scorchmark, Gift of Strength, Thirsting Shade, Get the Point, Justice's Portal, Final Payment, Rakdos Locket, and for the Uncommons we have a Hackrobat, Knight of the Last Breath, Gates Ablaze, and Rare is Awaken the Erstwhile, with some very creepy artwork there. Sorcery for five. Each player discards all the cards in their hand and creates that many 2-2 black zombie creature tokens. In preparation for the conflict, all foresaw the Golgari called upon an army that had slept for millennia beneath the city. Alright. And a Gruul Gilgate. And a zombie token. There we go. So we've got an army of zombies all ready to go. Uh, that actually goes along with the zombie token there. Very cool. Let's see how we do on the second pack. We have a Spike Wheel Acrobat. Twilight Panther. Sage's Row Savant. Rubble Belt Recluse. Footlight Fiend. Open the gates. <laughs> It's a catacomb croc! He'll bite your arm off, all right? And I think mine's better than the uh, little uh, comments down here. Leave a note in the comments what you think is my rendition better than the one written on the card. Imperious Oligarch, Act of Treason, Light Up the Stage, first of the uncommons here. And I believe that's over a buck as well. Jaya Engineer, Collision and Colossus, and rare is Lumbering Battlement. Creature, beast, 4-5 for 5 mana with Vigilance, and when it enters Battlefield Exile, any number of other non-token creatures you control until it leaves the battlefield, and it gets plus 2, plus 2 for each card exiled with it. Oh, nice, a foil rare Guardian Project. This is an enchantment for 4. Whenever a non-token creature enters the battlefield under your control, if it doesn't have the same name as another creature you control, or a creature card in your graveyard, draw a card. Very nice. And then Zoria Skillgate and a Thopter token. Onward! And if you too would like to get in on the pack cracking action like Bozza, I will leave a link to the Patreon in the description for this video so you can check that out if you like. And the snack packs will be coming soon. I know people are anxiously awaiting those. There's been some issues with Patreon lately, but I think that's all sorted out now. So we'll be able to assemble the snack packs. Next, we have a Civic Stalwart Quench. Rubble Slinger. Impassioned Orator. Axbane Beast. Footlight Fiend, Justice's Portal, get the point. It's a catacomb crock, he'll bite your arm off, alright? Chillbringer, 
And I've, I've got to be careful with my voice. If there's any goblins here, I might lose my voice entirely. Dagger Caster versus the Uncommons Frilled Mystic Elf Lizard Wizard. That just cracks me up every time. Blood Mist Infiltrator and nice! Bozza, mate, you're doing well today. Stomping Ground. Land, Mountain, Forest, so as Stomping Ground enters Battlefield, you may pay two life. If you don't, it enters Battlefield tapped. Oh, the crazy pools today, thanks to Jace's blessings. He's over there, very modest, just slightly out of frame. And a Gruul Guildgate and a Goblin Token. Okay, so we love the goblins here at MTG Unpack. Let's continue our final pack here. I think you're doing really well so far. Let's end with a big finish. We have Shimmer of Possibility. Feral Maker or Maker, Knight of Sorrows, Coral Commando, Dead Revels, Soraform Hybrid, Human Lizard Warrior, Aeromunculus, Ill Gotten Inheritance, Law Mage's Binding, Act of Treason, and it's everybody's favourite. Shut crab coming soon to the sci-fi channel the fish octopus crab I'm not sure if he spins around like a tornado, but you know look at this thing That's the stuff of nightmares right there a rumbling ruin Terramander and rare is a Zagana Utopian Speaker, Legendary Creature Murphy Wizard 4-4 four, four, for 4 mana. When Zagana Utopian Speaker enters battlefield, if you control another creature with a plus 1 plus 1 counter on it, draw a card. And it has Adapt 4, so you pay for a Forest Island if the creature has no plus 1 plus 1 counters on it. Put 4 plus 1 plus 1 counters on it. And each creature you control with a plus 1 plus 1 counter on it has Trample. That seems pretty decent. And a Simic Guildgate and a Beast Token. Okay, so let's go through the picks here. We have Guardian Project. We have Stomping Ground. I The natural choice would be Stomping Ground, but I'm going to pick Awaken the Erstwhile because this artwork just creeps me out. Look at that. Is that or is that not terrifying? Leave a note in the comments. And for the Uncommons... <laughs> oh, shark the crab. Let's see. I am going to pick. Yeah, let's. Uh, yeah, let's look at this one. So shark the crab would be a natural, but I'm going to pick something else. We have gates ablaze, a sorcery for three. Gates ablaze deals X damage to each creature where X is the number of gates you control. So this is one of the components in those gate decks. If you've seen those running around lately, you're using all your guild gates and yeah, a lot of cards taking advantage of the number of gates you have. So that is pretty cool. And then in the common slot, oh, let's take a look at this one. I don't think I've highlighted it before, but it's curious what's going on here. So we have an ill-gotten inheritance. It's an enchantment for four. At the beginning of your upkeep, you've got an inheritance. Deals one damage to each opponent and you gain one life. And if you pay five and a swamp, sack it. It deals four damage to target opponent and you gain four life. Okay, so damage and life gain. And it just keeps pinging them each turn until they get rid of it. That seems pretty decent. All right. So let me know in the comments what you think, if you agree or disagree with my picks. And I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button for more Magic the Gathering unboxings. And be sure to tap the notification bell to be notified as soon as new videos are released. Thanks for watching and have a great day.